A small pickup truck war is starting, and there's a new cheap truck that I think is actually worth buying in 2024. Over the past few years, full-size trucks have been getting bigger, fancier, and more expensive. But in 2024, sales of these overpriced trucks have slowed to a crawl, and buyers are looking for cheaper options when it comes to the trucks that they can buy. The small truck market is starting to make a huge comeback, and we now have more options than ever. Toyota recently revealed a super cheap $10,000 truck. Ford is coming out with a new Ranger, and another new cheap truck was recently recently revealed that I think will beat them all. So in this video, I want to show you the best new cheap truck you can buy that just killed Ford, Chevy, and Toyota, and also four other mid-size trucks that I think are good options if you don't have $75,000 to spend on a big full-size truck. And the first truck on this list is a little bit controversial. It's the Ford Maverick. And why is the Ford Maverick a little bit controversial in my opinion? Well, when it first came out, Ford was saying that it's going to be 25 grand and you can get it for really, really cheap. But when you actually go to the lot, but that's really not the case. There's really not any of the cheaper trim levels on the lot. Sure, you can go to the website and order it, but sometimes you just want to wander around and check out what's at the dealer. But you still cannot ignore the Ford Maverick as a really good option for a cheaper small truck to buy. Is it the best small to medium sized truck to buy in my opinion? No, that's coming later in the video. But something interesting is happening with the Maverick. When the Maverick first came out, you could not find any on dealer lots whatsoever. It was pretty much one of the hardest trucks that you could find, and they were never on the lot. And when they were on the lot, they did have some sort of markup. Now, it wasn't as crazy as like the Ford Bronco markups or anything like that, but it was still a couple thousand dollars bringing a cheap truck to a price range of buying like a full-size truck, at least like a lower trim level full-size truck. But we do have several options here now because Ford dealers actually have some in inventory that you can buy and some of them do have a little bit of a discount. Well, we've got a few different trim levels we can look at. Unfortunately, there's none of the $25,000 trim levels here, but we'll go through and I'll show you a couple of these. We're gonna find the cheapest one and there's also an expensive 2024 model on the other side. So this one here is the cheapest one that I found out of all these Ford Mavericks. It's a 2024 model and it just has like the basic cloth interior and the basic basic trim level, and it's a front wheel drive with the 2.5 liter hybrid engine. And the total MSRP of this one is $31,820. But you can get $500 off uh, from the dealer right here, bringing it to $31,320. Is that the $25,000 Ford Maverick that we were promised? No, but $31,000 is probably one of the more cheaper trucks that you're going to find anywhere even though it's not really a truck truck you know it's the unibody stuff like that it can only do a small amount of truck things and the bed is very very tiny honestly you can't even fit a bicycle full length from front to back you'd have to turn it sideways or even take the front wheel off to even fit a bicycle in the back of one of these things. And let me show you the most expensive Ford Maverick that I found on this lot. This is a 2024 Ford Maverick, and it pretty much has every bell and whistle you could think of because it is a Lariat. And it's also in this new, like light tannish gray color called Terrain, which I actually think is pretty cool, especially with the black wheels, it just looks good. But it pretty much has every option on the list that you could think of, bringing it to $37,375 for a small truck. And that's one of the cheaper, I'd say small trucks in this video that you can buy. But let's go check out one that's more mid-size, that's on the top of my list of ones to buy. It's still not the best cheap mid-size truck. We'll get to that here in a minute, but I think you'll like this one. One problem is it's really, really hard to find. Now, this wouldn't be a good video about mid-size trucks if I didn't talk about this one right here, the Toyota Tacoma. And it's one of the best mid-size trucks you can buy, but right now the Tacoma market is in a really kind of weird transitional spot. So you see all of these Tacomas behind me, none of them are brand new. And right now you're not probably gonna find any brand new Tacomas on the lot. When I was in Scottsdale in one of my last videos, they didn't have any new ones, they only had used ones. And the same goes here. All of these Tacomas on this row are used. Granted, some of them are slightly used. Most of these, like this one, are 2023 models. This is a 21, this is a 23. And the reason for that is the new 2024s are coming out very soon. Some people are already getting theirs delivered. I saw a few people posting about picking theirs up on Instagram, but with that, the 2024 models are gonna be a lot more expensive than the outgoing 23. So this is actually a good time to buy, I'd say the older model Tacoma, 
if you want to save a ton of money on a midsize pickup truck. And here's a good example of one of the higher trim level Tacomas, basically the highest trim level you can get. There's this 23 Tacoma TRD Pro in this awesome sun, like sunset orange color. I don't know exactly uh, the name of it, so put that down in the comments if you know. It only has 6,000 miles and they're asking $51,995 for it. Now this truck is pretty much like a $60,000 truck on the new MSRP. So you're gonna save close to 10 grand by buying one that's a year old with only 6,000 miles on it. And pretty much in Toyota terms, that's brand spanking new. But obviously this is the most expensive 23 Tacoma that you can get. This SR5 here is way cheaper. If you're just looking for a midsize truck to get you around and you wanna save some money, this is a 2021 with only 41,000 miles, and this is 33,995. So you can find this generation Tacoma at a good price around 30 grand, and some of them get even lower if you buy one with like 100,000 miles or so. Now this next truck, I wasn't even sure I was gonna put it on the list, and it's only for personal reasons because I personally don't like it, and I never thought of it as a truck, even though there's competitors like the Maverick coming up that are kind of similar, but that is the Honda Ridgeline. If you're looking for something kind of Maverick-ish, but slightly larger, you could get one of these Honda Ridgeline. Now, the big difference is that this Honda Ridgeline is the same price as the top pick that I'm gonna show you later in this video, which is a better bang for your buck. But this is like a higher trim level Ridgeline. I do like the color. I've just never really liked it as a truck. Um, it is on here for the reason that it is a Honda and it's gonna be super, super reliable if you take care of it. But for the money, it's not the best bang for your buck. And I'll show you uh, why. This tint's a little dark, but this is a 2024 all-wheel drive and it's $45,440. And as you saw, for the low 30s, you can get that Ford Maverick. And for around the same price, my top pick in this video is way, way better. But there's some other trucks in this video that I think are way better. If you like Honda reliability, obviously this might be the one for you, but I don't recommend it. Now this next midsize truck is pretty much a unicorn and one of the hardest to find, which is why it's not the best cheap truck uh, to buy on this list because it's really, really hard to find, especially hard to find at the cheaper trim level. Um, usually they're pretty loaded out, but I have to go all the way to the back of this lot to find it, but I just found what I was looking for. And it's this, the Chevy Colorado. Now this is one of my top of the list midsize trucks. It's not the cheapest one you can buy, but personally I think it's the coolest. And this is a really cool trim level because it is the Z71 package. And let's look at the sticker to see the details on this. This is a 2024 Colorado four wheel drive Z71 crew cab with all the doors you could ever need. It has the 2.7 liter turbo engine and an eight speed automatic transmission and the MSRP with all of the uh, Z71 packages and everything. This will run you $44,735. But this one does have a really good size bed, pretty much the average size of all the midsize truck beds. Has a nice black bumper. They've got a step here for you to easily access everything in the bed without flipping down the tailgate there. But I just like the look of the Chevy Colorado, especially this newer model. I think most of the Colorado is really great, but there's one glaring problem that this truck has and that all the other midsize trucks have right now that the final truck on this list that I think is the best one to get doesn't have. And it's right here on the sticker with the 2.7 liter turbo engine. Now all of these mid-sized trucks are moving to like a hybrid or turbo engine setup. And while the gas mileage is slightly better, it doesn't get better at highway speeds. You actually, when you, the faster you go with these turbo engines, the more fuel those turbos need. So in the end, it doesn't really make a huge difference despite what the government says on that sticker, your gas mileage at highway speeds is still gonna be absolute trash. So the switch to these turbo motors really is just higher maintenance costs and just more of a pain in the butt to take care of. But that's where the best truck on this list comes into play. All right, I finally can show you what I think is the best midsize, bang for your buck, cheap truck that you can buy right now. And that is this, the Nissan Frontier. And I chose the Frontier as like the best cheaper mid-sized truck that you can buy for quite a few reasons and I'll tell you about them right now. And what's even cooler is this time I've got the keys to this one so I can show you everything that I love about it and also a couple things that I don't really like but they wouldn't stop me from buying it. So we're looking at this green Frontier which they gave me the keys to this one because the green color is my favorite color and just a quick note about this green 
I really wish that uh, Nissan would make the new Z available in this green color because I would buy that in like a literal second. But anyways, we're talking about this Frontier and there's several reasons why this is the best midsize truck that you can buy right now in 2024. And the first reason is under this hood. While all the other companies are switching to hybrid and turbo powertrains, this Nissan is just a good, straightforward Nissan V6, which means that you're gonna have the best reliability out of this engine compared to all the other brands. And yes, that even includes Toyota because Toyota has had quite a lot of little issues with their new turbo V6 engines. And I can guarantee you there's gonna be some problems and there's higher maintenance with a turbo engine. It's just a trusty, reliable Nissan V6 engine. And let me show you the specs on the window sticker. And this is not the cheapest Frontier you can buy. They start in the mid thirties and then go up from there. This dealer does have some trim levels that are a little bit lower trim level like this one, but this is the Pro 4X. They've got a lot of Pro 4X higher trim levels here. They don't have any of the $35,000 ones, but you could order it if you wanted to. Now, I just want to show you something interesting real quick in the middle of this Frontier thing. I did say you could get a cheaper trim level one, but they're hard to find at the lots. However, as you can see, they are delivering one right here off of this truck. Uh, and it does just only have two doors. Like I said, you can get a cheaper trim level Frontier, just buy it and have it delivered to you. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard to find one on the dealer lot. But let's look at the sticker. This is a 2024 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X Crew Cab, obviously 4x4 automatic with the V6. You get a 3.8 liter V6 with 310 horsepower, 281 foot pounds of torque, which is really solid power. And you're gonna have no turbo lag because it doesn't have a turbo. But what makes this great is the nine speed automatic transmission, which means you're gonna always be in the right gear at the right time, depending on where you are it's always gonna pull very consistently. And the MSRP for this is $44,470, which puts it right in the middle of what these good mid-sized trucks do. It's not the most expensive mid-sized truck that you can buy. It's not the cheapest one at this trim level, but you can get one for around 35, which is ba basic everything. But if I walk down here, they do have one that is a little bit less. And it's the cheapest one that I found here. Again, it's not the lowest trim level that you can find, but it is lower trim. So you've got this one right here, which is more of a basic trim level of the four door four wheel drive. So this is a 24 crew cab four by four with an MSRP of 42,605. And honestly, for a couple thousand dollars more, you can get the fully loaded Pro 4X. But the interesting part is, um, I saw in a Scotty Kilmer video about a Nissan, you could probably save 10 grand if you bought one a year old, uh, which drops it down to the 30s. However, they do have discounts on this. So the MSRP of 44,470, but you can get a good chunk off. They said they're selling them an invoice. That brings it down to $40,812, which at that price for a brand new truck is pretty decent compared to if you jumped at a full size uh, F-150, which those are like in the 70s to 80s to all the way up to 100 grand for the high trim level. With this, you get a high trim level, fully loaded pickup truck for 40 grand. And the interior is actually pretty nice as well. You get this nice piece here on the left side. You've got some red trim to go along with the green as an accent. This doesn't have leather seats, but the point of this is that it's breathable and comfortable and easy to clean. And then, Sitting inside, this cabin is a really big step up from all the previous generation Frontiers that I've ever seen. You get all the nice buttons to control everything on the steering wheel here. You also have cruise control, which is easily accessible with your thumbs on either side. You can control everything you need to from the radio to the cruise control to the lane keeping assist that it has as well. You get a nice classic shifter park reverse neutral drive that you just do this instead of the crazy dial that people are using nowadays. You also get a nice foot pedal for the parking brake instead of having the weird electronic one as well. And sitting inside, it's very roomy. These seats are very comfortable. And honestly, they're more comfortable than uh, any of the Jeep Wrangler seats that I've ever sat in because I, I have a lot of, I've had a lot of history with the Jeep Wrangler. Um, but these seats, would probably be really good on a road trip and the sitting position is very comfortable and now with a lot of modern cars as well you get a really nice large touch screen this is actually a really large touch screen it goes all the way around here to control everything inside unlike other companies that are putting everything in the screen 
you still get climate control buttons right here and you still have the knobs for the radio without having to go through a screen for anything. Honestly, it's so windy outside right now that I kind of want to just sit in here the rest of the video, but we got a couple more things to look at. You do get these nice solid steps on the side, um, but to be honest, if I bought one of these, I would take these side steps off because you get more ground clearance without these on here and I would just sell it to somebody else that wanted them. I'd keep these mud flaps on though so you don't throw rock, um, but it does have pretty aggressive all-terrain tires from Hankook, uh, which are pretty good. And obviously you cannot go wrong with this color and the nice black grille and also the tow hooks on the front, which are necessary if you're gonna take this thing off-road. And they have so many here, you can actually pretty much get it in any color you want. There's black, white, there's this really cool like gray color this blue is very pretty you've got red right here obviously this green color which really pops in the sunlight and another color that i like that i also wish they would put on the z is this nice kind of sand color right here that i think is really really nice as well and just a little shout out to dennis dylan nissan here in boise idaho dennis dylan was kind enough to give me the keys to that frontier um, because it was my top pick for this video so they gave me the keys and let me show you around on that and one thing that's cool is they also do upfits on the new frontier so you have this frontier here that they've added a nice aftermarket wheel and tire setup and i do think it looks pretty slick it uh, just makes this Frontier look a little bit more aggressive. So if you wanna get a Frontier, that's where all these cool colors of the Frontiers are at. But that's it. That is the best cheap truck that I think you can get right now. If you wanna keep up with all my videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm also doing a build series on an old 2002 Tundra V8 that I just bought. And I'll have some videos coming up on that real soon. So if you wanna see any of my other car market videos or my truck build on an older Tundra, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.